You're listening to a podcast from digitaloilandgas.com. This podcast is entitled, Turning Virtual Reality into Real Cash. Unless you've been hiding out in a sealed cardboard box and not a Google cardboard box at that, you'll likely have heard of augmented reality and virtual reality, especially in their application as toys. But these virtual reality toys are being used to deliver real-world savings in the operations of oil and gas companies. So what is augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality? Well, virtual reality, or VR, creates the matrix-like, visually immersive environment where your real world is replaced by a computer-generated rendering. Examples of VR are the games playable on the Oculus Rift headset. Augmented reality, or AR, overlays pertinent data on top of your real environment, creating new ways for users to interact with the real world. Examples of AR include smartphones and tablets running applications like Pokemon Go, and applications run on headsets such as Microsoft's HoloLens. Mixed reality, or MR, represents the controlled collision of the AR, VR, and Internet of Things trends. With MR, the virtual and real worlds come together to create new environments in which both digital and physical objects and their data can coexist and interact with one another. These uh, technologies, AR, VR, and MR, solve three problems in oil and gas. First one is on inaccessible assets. Oil and gas assets are often in inhospitable places, inaccessible places, or both. Sending a worker to perform visual observations and maintenance is certainly costly and potentially unsafe. While sensors, drones, and remote operating centers reduce the need for human contact, the resulting interaction between engineer and equipment may feel lacking. This may reduce the efficacy of problem solving. Second is with invisible assets. While we have maps, drawings, and 3D renderings complete with walkthroughs of assets, each lacks the feeling of really being there. This results in design errors, critical bottlenecks being missed, and infrastructure being forgotten. Furthermore, even when an asset does exist, it is sometimes invisible to the naked eye due to it being buried underground, in a wall, or in the guts of a machine. And third is in information overload. Asset status, maintenance schedules, best practices, and regulations are constantly changing. It's almost impossible to proactively keep abreast of every development, considering the scale of oil and gas infrastructure. However, staff need to be informed to ensure safe, effective, and efficient operations. Traditional training sessions have proven an expensive and not fully effective solution in addressing this gap. So what are the use cases for mixed reality in oil and gas? Well, first, mixed reality can use VR to make inaccessible assets real. As more and more projects become automated, VR can enable a fully immersive experience for off-site workers who are directing unmanned robots. Consider Shell's Sensabot. This robot is equipped with sensing technology, cameras, and arms. Remote machine maintenance does not feel like an insurmountable next step, as we have been able to perform remote open-heart surgery since 2010. For widely dispersed assets, VR can help on-site workers communicate issues to remote experts. An on-site worker, unsure of how to proceed, can contact the expert and display the situation in real time. The remote expert does not need to travel to the worker's location to be fully immersed in the situation. They can communicate the solution to the worker via an AR setup, wherein the worker can see exactly which components they should be interacting with. This method of communication is already being adopted by such companies as Maersk Oil in their offshore platforms and onshore operating centers. Now, although Star Trek's teleportation machines don't exist yet, this application becomes pretty close in cutting down unnecessary and wasteful movement of labor. Next is uh, mixed reality, which connects data to visualize invisible or non-existing assets. By bringing together 3D drawings and asset data in a virtual environment, workers can experience assets before they set foot in them. This creates opportunities in virtual debottlenecking and safety inspections, such as those being undertaken by the Lind Group, which enable assessors to proactively identify issues and address them at the blueprint stage. Another is in staff training. Studies show that staff trained in virtual environments better understand their physical operating environment and work tasks compared with peers trained using traditional methods. Training can range from maintenance activities to emergency evacuations. For example, Lloyd's Register has developed a safety training software solution where scenarios are created from real-life experiences and incidents. 
Human nature, communication, decisions, and reaction times mean that trainees very rarely get it right the first time or even the second time. In true emergency situations, VR training may save critical seconds that can save someone's life. Third, AR and VR and geocodes can make invisible assets visible. AR can display buried and hidden assets, such as pipelines and cables, showing workers exactly where they should or should not be drilling. In case of a fire, workers wearing AR headsets could be directed out of the danger area through other visual cues, even if their path is covered by smoke, using applications such as Poindexter. Next, how about solving information overload with AR? The convergence of AR with the Internet of Things delivers the right information to the right person at the right time. On-demand notifications can include warning pop-ups in the worker's view when the machines are hot or machine components are still in operation, and can point out which components of the machine require servicing. On-demand training and reference information can be triggered when workers access machinery that has been re recently replaced. For example, a worker is forbidden access until they watch a quick instructional vid and video. Training and reference information could be delivered via a headset or a smartphone or a tablet. FuelFX allows users to hold up a tablet or a smartphone device, aim the camera at an object, and see animation and details relating to the object appear on the screen. Cisco and GE have implemented AR headset systems for maintenance workers. In fact, a study undertaken in the aviation industry suggests that workers using an AV headset displaying a maintenance manual are up to 30% faster and 90% more accurate than peers using only PDF-based instructions. Now, sometimes the equipment is a problem. In, mo uh, in remote operating centers, current state AR and VR technology may suffice. But on-market AR and VR rigs, that is HoloLens, Oculus Rift, Google Glass, and so forth, are clunky, delicate, and heavy. Not a winning combination on a stormy offshore oil rig at night in the winter. These technologies represent pioneers in a rapidly evolving environment, and rugged versions for industrial use are emerging. Companies such as Dacry are working to integrate these technologies into work helmets, while Osterhout Design Group is designing rugged AR glasses. There is a lot happening in AR VR. The first step to successfully implementing a mixed reality solution in your environment is to identify your business's inaccessibility, invisibility, and information challenges. Whether the challenges are occurring within your frontline operations, in your remote operating centers, or in your design groups, you'll want to consider the following. The size of the opportunity. The availability of applications. AR and VR applications in oil and gas are still evolving, and your specific application may need to be developed from scratch. The availability of data and sensors to deliver inputs into the AR and VR environment. AR and VR on their own are merely user interfaces, not unlike a computer screen. To create mixed reality, it's necessary to identify a good source of data to mix with your real environment. Next is the hardware. Key considerations will include whether you will require VR exclusively, or is AR also needed by the same workers. Additionally, you will want to consider ruggedness and the software platform being used. As the market is evolving rapidly, no single player has emerged as the oil and gas killer solution. And finally, the willingness to adopt new technologies. Key to successful adoption is successful change management and communications. The disruption inherent in implementing mixed reality is specific to the opportunity. While VR training is exciting and fun, whereas AR maintenance may seem like some other step closer to an Orwellian future. There you have it. Augmented reality and virtual reality mixed with the Internet of Things are proven solutions that help oil and gas companies troubleshoot assets before they are built, provide on-demand information to frontline workers, deliver immersive training, and make invisible assets visible to enable worker safety. You have been listening to a podcast from digitaloilgas.com. If you like what you've heard, please subscribe to future installments and visit us at digitaloilgas.com.